Hi guys. Welcome to Tech a Genius Academy. We are the industry led training providers for those who wants to build their career in data science, analysis, IoT, device driver, embedded Linux and many more. Please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Hello everyone, this is Vidit Mathur from Teco Genius Academy and today we are going to discuss about Elasticsearch or Elk Stack. I'll start with big theory and along with that I'll go and uh, explain you the things and concepts uh, of, of this particular Elasticsearch stack. So as the name suggests, like it's, uh, it's Elk Stack, Elastic. It's basically a stack which is uh, which has three different parts, combination of three different tools: Elastic Search, Logstash, Kibana. So that's the reason it is called Elk Stack. Now, it's uh, uh, what exactly is Elk Stack? Or what's the purpose of elk now as in this industry currently you will be observing that now data is oil data is everything everyone is focusing on data even for troubleshooting even for analytics purpose even for higher enhanced value addition or optimization of their own application everywhere data is coming into picture now once data comes into picture elastic search comes into picture why elastic search comes into picture first of all because of its features features that it's providing apart from that there are multiple you can say way of inputting the data and uh, way of passing and all those uh, it's you can say it's very dynamic in nature which helps us in uh, you can say building up a good st good stack for our own production for our usage so few features first of all the feature is it's scalable at any point of time in be it on live in uh, live production environment you can scale it you can scale it uh, like suppose i have cer a certain amount of data is getting increased increased and you see that okay now i need to add i need to have a bigger cluster so that more data can be stored within my elastic search cluster so you can add new data nodes i'll explain you what all data nodes are but as right now you can consider data node as one such node where these data can reside now it's almost near real time searches whatever data you ingest it's almost in real, near real time why we say near real time near real, real time is say, said because suppose if you are sending any raw data uh, it takes few seconds to parse it and then make it available so to me during this period of time like parsing making that raw data to a meaningful data and then uh, putting it for search uh, making it available for search so th this gap is considered as near real time it's not much it's in few seconds which is actually you won't even observe it but these gap comes up now uh, it ha uh, it if suppose i have a cluster if one server crashes its data can be recovered easily you won't be uh, much much worried or you should not have to worry about uh, okay my server goes down what will happen to the data so it can be stored easily on the other nodes so that's a big time uh, you can say benefit for using elastic search it uses and stores the data in JSON format. So JSON format is basically indented format with key value pairs. If I have three, uh, suppose I have three details like with it, what's your name, name with it, age, location. So if I have these three fields and uh, data against these three fields like name uh, with it, age, 32, uh, location, Bangalore, then this, this particular data gets stored in form of JSON. Now all these JSON indices are stored automatically in index. So here you can see like uh, uses JSON format and JSON application APIs. Or, and all these ind data are stored in index in JSON format itself. Now this uses different type of identifiers. Identifiers, I'll take it up in uh, different classes. As of now you can, simply consider that okay if data is coming whatever side, sort of data you are ingesting all those will be saved in json for json format now each index have its own setting what are these indices i'll 
explain you in few minutes now just uh, it's why it's uh, what are how the search is being performed search is being performed based on lucene based queries so what is lucene two things are coming up here right now i'll note it down index and lucene so I'll explain you how these two things are uh, playing important part in Elasticsearch Long Test Kibana. Now, Elastic itself has divided them, themselves into multiple layers, multiple layers for their costing. Now, costing, depending upon costing, they provide certain uh, features which are exposed only once you purchase their license. One is basic, basic license. One is basic. This is uh, free. You don't have to purchase any uh, pay any amount for uh, this particular feature. It, these basic lies, uh, like basic version of Elasticsearch is enough if you are only working or worried about log ingestion, log parsing, and you are not going deep down, deep diving to different features. So this is basic. Apart from that, they have gold, platinum. licenses and they have certain features like uh, cross replication cross cluster application siem which is security incident event management and uh, other features like uh, machine learning features all those comes up in gold platinum licenses and they also provide support in these particular license uh, license structure so this is the one uh, this is the one thing which differentiates different features being available whether in basic gold or platinum so what is uh, and now here i give you brief of all these things elks elastic sir log slash kamala but what roles are these individual tools playing so these individual tools are playing uh, like there there are a set of defined roles which are being played by kibana being played by elastic search and being played by log stash there are other things which is known as beats so what is beats i'll explain you that also going uh, in upcoming few minutes now first thing see basically elk stack is known as elastic log stash kibana but if you go by the flow of data then data first of all comes in log stash from here it goes to elastic search and then it is made searchable in kibana okay so first thing first so if so in that way you might get confused that okay it's called elk stack so data flow should be elastic first log stash then and then kibana but no it's not the case and that's the reason right now elk uh, the elastic has changed their uh, the stack name from elastic stack elk stack to elastic stack so nowadays you might uh, hear people saying that i am working on elastic stack instead of saying elk stack they will say they have started saying it as elastic stack so it's the same thing now first thing first roles kibana kibana is visual interface whatever searches you want to perform if you want to create certain visualization if you want to create certain dashboards then kibana comes into picture uh, i'll in few four few minutes i'll also tell you like it's uh, is it meant it's if someone asks is it mandatory that we should use kibana then no it's not mandatory there are other tools as well where you can uh, which you can inter integrate with elastic search for visualizations and dashboards but uh, but why kibana because if if you use Kibana, there are features like it's a stack, Elastic A, Elastic Kibana, Log Style. It's a stack. So obviously, if you use the same product, there are multiple four uh, inbuilt features which can be utilized for, uh, with, for data usage and which can gives you much better, uh, you can say, search result and features. So that's the reason Kibana. So Kibana, purpose of using Kibana? Purpose of using Kibana is... Per performing searches, visualization, and 
dashboards. Next comes Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch purpose has main purpose it's is storage and indexing. Now, what is indexing? Indexing means whatever data is being sent to Elasticsearch cluster, it will be indexed. Index means processed and store, stored in Elasticsearch nodes. So this is how uh, the main role of Elasticsearch. One important thing which we we must know about Elasticsearch is it is no S, no SQL database. Now, what does it mean by no SQL database? No SQL database, like SQL database has their certain format. We have to make like, okay, these are my rows, these are my fields, these, these fields will be used. So there's, uh, if you are using no SQL database, it means any sort of data can be inserted in this, any raw data. It's not necessary that let's suppose if uh, I have two application, application A and application B, now my A application is sending 10 fields, my B application is sending 12 different fields, that then both of these data can, can be stored in a single index as well. It's not that we have to cre create a different rule for uh, all different applications. So this is a big time flexibility, which is provided by Elasticsearch. So, uh, so the database which is used, it's called no SQL database. You don't have to define its uh, number of fields or the field attributes it will take it automatically whatever comes up it will process it and it will store it in its indices so this that's the reason it is called no sql database the purpose is storage whatever data you are be, uh, sending it is getting stored in elastic search it is getting indexed or processed in elastic search Next comes log stash. So log stash is the word itself suggests log stash. It means log parsing. So what does it do? It takes certain log log input. You can push certain logs to log stash. Log stash, based upon your requirement, it will transform those unmeaningful or raw data into meaningful data, and then it will send it as an output. Now output, it can be multiple output, log input, it could be multiple input, transformation as per your requirement, there are multiple fields available, you can use those for transforming. So the role of log stash, first is log input, then transformation, then output. So now this is elk stack uh, this is elk stack uh, different uh, features that is being provided by different uh, tools and how it's uh, being used and how it's being utilized that's all for today's session we will continue further on elastic stack in upcoming videos please like comment share and follow techo genius for more videos and updates thanks everyone